What's up Multiverse, Dr. Dave here. Welcome to the Geek Lounge. I'm really excited about today's video because I'm finally visiting the physical store of one of my favorite retailers here in the UK, DJ Collectibles. Let's check them out.
Alrighty guys, I am back in my quaint little Airbnb in Birmingham, actually here for Anime Con UK taking place this weekend. Very much looking forward to that, but I figured while I was in the Midlands, I needed to go check out DJ Collectibles. And I think you guys will agree from the montage, it's a really, really awesome store. So many tons of cool things to check out. I honestly could have spent all day in there. And it was also awesome to finally meet Danny, the D in DJ Collectibles. I mean, I did meet Jazz as well, but I spoke a lot to Danny. In fact, if you are watching, I do apologize again for chewing your ear off, but I do appreciate the geeky nerdy talk. And now maybe I'm being a little bit biased because I do buy tons and tons from DJ Collectibles. All my US sticker pre-orders actually come from them, but go and check them out for yourselves, guys. The store is awesome. And if you want to order from them online, you can do so using my affiliate link in the description below. And I'll be completely honest with you guys, there's no discount codes or anything like that for you. If you make a purchase using Using our affiliate link it will just go towards supporting the channel and another quick shout out to Danny because he offered to do two really cool things the first of those being to actually turn off the music in the store so I wouldn't get any copyright strikes with my video I thought that was absolutely amazing very very generous but I did decide to go with a montage in the end there were other people doing Funko Pop hunting no one liked filming anything but I don't know if you guys saw in the footage there are actually like two or three like rows back with Funko Pop hunt so it's like that old school hunting right for a chase for an exclusive etc etc he said to me they purposely done it that way because they wanted it to have that old school feel so yeah I went with the montage in the end just because there were a few people in the store and the second of which he actually gave me a small discount of course I did purchase some stuff from them and he actually gave me a discount on these Shonen Jump mystery minis I actually bought five from them online a while back they had some more in store so I decided to grab a, another five and he basically gave me like three wait three for the no five for the price of three yeah that's it sorry the mass was a bit off there in my head last time i actually got the uh the three from bleach i got kakashi and i also got light so i'm hoping to get at least like two or three of the others we'll open them up real quick and let's see who we get i did get some fungo bots as well so we'll show those off uh, at the end. So, first up, who did we get, guys? I've got it out. We got, hey, we actually got L, and I need this one because, uh, like I said, I only got light last time from the Death Note series. So, yeah, that one is pretty cool. Second box up here next, guys, using my keys to actually open up. Actually, that's a lie. I'm using the Airbnb keys to open these up. Apologies as well. The camera position is a little bit wonky. I actually didn't bring a tripod and I've got this kind of makeshift. It's pretty much my Chainsaw Man U2s, my Naruto U2s, and then a Tundra and Nezuko two pack in a hard stack. That's what's making up my tripod here uh, in the Airbnb. I actually forgot to bring my like small uh, extendable one, which is a little bit annoying, but here we go then. As I said, with this second one, who are we gonna get this time? We have, da, 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 we have, oops, I've dropped him. We have Chopper, Tony, Tony Chopper. I think there is a glitter version. I'm just gonna look on the back. Yeah, it says glitter, but there's definitely no glitter on this, but that's really cool because I didn't get Chopper last time either. So uh, yeah, we've actually pulled two new ones from this little set. Third box here then guys, I would love to get one of Naruto, Sasuke, or even Luffy, that would be really cool. Ryuto would be amazing, obviously that glitter. Uh, Chopper would be equally as cool, but who do we have then from number three guys? Hey, hey, we do have my man Luffy. So we've got three new ones. Can't believe it. I mean, I'm, I've got to be happy with that, but what's the betting that the next two we open up are going to be duplicates? Box number four, who awaits us then? Come on. Come on, Naruto or Sasuke. Especially with Miley Flanagan being at Anime Con UK this weekend. It would be cool to pull a Naruto, but who do we have here, guys? Ah, we have Light, uh, pardon me, L once again. Uh, I did say there was gonna be a duplicate, but I thought maybe like a duplicate from the ones we pulled last time. Fifth and final box then, who awaits us? Come on, come on, Naruto or Sasuke. Come on, come on, come on. or Ryuk. There are three that I want. Who are we going to end up with though? We have the, ah, we have Rukia from Bleach, who I did actually pull last time. I did tell you the last two were gonna be duplicate. And as for the Funko Pops guys, I actually picked up three. So yes, I've already spent a little bit of money before I've even got to Anime Con UK, but we did add some Anime Pops to the collection. First up here, we have Terrible Tornado as part of the One Punch Man line. I don't have too many of these. Like I definitely don't have 
uh, Garu. In fact, I think I have, Gar did I say Gara? Gar Garu? Garu? Is that how you pronounce the name? I can't entirely remember. Um, it's been a while since I watched One Punch Man, but I, I'm trying to think. I think I do actually only have Saitama and Genos, I think. My Saitama, I got signed by Max Mittelman at MCM in October last year, and my Saitama, uh, my Genos, I will be getting signed tomorrow by Zach Aguila, as well as some Tanjiro stuff as well. But here is a quick look for you guys at Terrible Tornado uh, on one of these kind of floaty bases. There is a chase version for her as well, which just glows in the dark. I don't, I can't entirely remember if there is any difference. I'll try and grab that at some point. I paid 15 pounds for this, if you were wondering. I think it is about 20 on TBD, although I don't think TBD has been updated in a while. And the other anime pop I bought, guys, I bit the bullet and grabbed the Fungo Shop exclusive Pito from Hunter Hunter. The reason I say bit the bullet is, as you guys can see, I paid 25 pounds for it, but it actually hasn't released in the UK or Europe yet, even though it released in the US, I want to say like three or four months ago. I imagine it's going to be similar to the uh, Daemon Targaryen, at least that's what I'm hope. well, am I hoping for it now because I've got it and paid more money for it? Like, Daemon Targaryen finally came out a few weeks ago when he released in the US six months ago, like it finally dropped on Funko Europe a few weeks ago, it's crazy the amount of time it took. And I imagine Pito, Nefra Pito, however you want to call her, uh, is going to drop at some point. Dorothy Unger as well from Black Clover, still waiting for that one to drop. Um, but I was like, you know what, 25, it's not too bad. When they do drop, it's going to be 16. So yes, maybe I paid nine pounds more, um, but I've got her in the collection. Don't have to worry if she like sells out quickly. I'm not sure she will. The Hunter Hunter ones haven't like the, uh, I don't think Kite, he may have sold out now, but he certainly didn't sell out very quickly. But um, yeah, I hope they make more Hunter Hunter Pops because I love that anime. There's so many cool characters, though, for whatever reason, they keep seeming to make Kilua. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Kilua and have a massive crush on Christina V, but do we really need more Kilua Fungo Pops? And the final pop I grabbed, guys, actually is an anime, it's Marvel. I grabbed a new Spider-Man for my collection, the Underground Toys exclusive Iron Spider for 20 quid, which I thought was a pretty good deal. There's some of those old school figures on the back, that black symbiote, wait, what was it called? Black Suit Spider-Man. So I think that's like that OG one, I think. Is it that one that's gone really expensive or was it like the symbiote suit one? I can't entirely remember, but I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. And like after seeing it across the Spider-Verse, um, even before that, to be honest, but now especially after seeing Across the Spider-Verse, I really want to get tons more Spider-Man figures into my collection and kind of do this awesome Spider-Man display. And I absolutely love, you know what? No, no, I don't think it is, right? No. I was about to say, I thought it was broken for a second because there were only three at the back. Or is that what it was? Because, like, I really love this design, to be honest. The uh, Iron Spider from the comic books, uh, from the original Marvel Civil War series. I've actually got all of the graphic novels. Like, every story they did, uh, I've collected it in form. So I, like, read the whole of Civil War quite a long time ago, I should add. Um, and I actually love this suit, like the design, everything, of course, the Iron Spider suit that Spider-Man uh, Peter Parker gets from Tony Stark uh, during that comic book series. And then, of course, they made the movie. And don't get me wrong, like, I still liked the version in the MCU. Uh, I just kind of really prefer this one, the red and the gold. I just think it looks so, so cool. And uh, yeah, I spotted this as soon as I walked in. I was like, man, I need to have this because I was such a fan of the suit and I need to add it to my Spider-Man collection. But yeah, definitely looks like it's only three um, like tentacle leg things, whatever you want to call it. Definitely not four, right? And well, there we go, guys. That's my short but very, very sweet first visit to DJ Collectibles. Many more to come, but that is going to do it for today's video. So first and foremost, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me here on the Geek Lounge. It is very much appreciated. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop in the comments below what Fungo Pops have you picked up recently. And from that footage, what would you have picked up if you went to DJ Collectibles today? And as always, we've got plenty more content on the way for you guys. As I mentioned already, I will be attending Anime Con UK here in Birmingham this coming weekend. I've got tons 
tons of videos planned. I'm going to do one with the con in general, some fungo pop hunting, maybe some cosplaying videos. Uh, I've got tons of things that I'm going to be getting signed, so I'll show those off as soon as I am back in the Geek Lounge on Monday. But yeah, tons more content after that. Fungo pop statues, figures, Lego cards, all of that lovely geeky stuff that we get up to here on the Geek Lounge coming your way. Make sure you stay tuned for all of it and more. What is the easiest way to stay tuned, you ask? It's very simple. Subscribe, hit click, smash that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any of that future content. Guys, thanks again for watching today's video and we'll see you tomorrow for AnimeCon UK. Peace out, nerds.